Professor Dan from Anderson Martial Arts with the next episode of Therapeutic Martial Arts. Now, in the movies, you see Bruce Lee, Jet Li, Jackie Chan. There's all this high speed giddy up and go. And people our age, you know, mid 50s, 60, you know, I'm 67, you get 70, you get 80, and that sort of thing. Our bodies are not necessarily set up to do all that high-speed craziness. But there are motions, there are actions in martial arts that one can use to make yourself flow better, more supple, more loose, and so forth. And if there's any one thing that physicians will always, always, always tell you is that when you get older, keep moving, keep mobile. This is whether you take you know, you take walks, you jog, uh, you do fitness training exercises or whatever. This is the thrust of therapeutic martial arts. Now, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go over first cert a certain arm action, then we're gonna add it to a body action, and then what we'll do is I will show you just a little practical application on this. So, the first thing is, with your arms down, we're going to take our left hand and notice how I have it pressed as, as though it's flat. As though moving it around a clock face, circle it out in this fashion so that the palm remains up. So we have, there's the wrist, it circles and it points out and your hand is up here just like you're asking one of your kids for you know, 20 bucks or something. So, wrist, circle, and position. Do that again, left hand wrist, circling, and position. Do that with the right hand several times. It's flat like this, so you go circle, and it rolls out just like that. Do it again, aim the fingers towards, the, towards your body this way. And there you go. Good, let's do it again. Just like that. So that's move number one. Now we're gonna add another move into this where you're gonna move your left hand. I'm gonna have my right hand up by my shoulder. So we move it up and around. And then my right hand is going to slide down the front of my left arm down to the elbow. So what we have is we have circle, slide. Do that again. Circle, slide. And again, circle, slide. We'll do it one more time, then we'll go to the other side. Circle, slide. Now we'll do it with the right hand. So right hand has the flat press here, circle. Left hand comes in front of my wrist and slides down to my elbow. Good. Circle, wrist, slide, and circle, wrist, slide. Circle, slide. Do this one more time. Circle and slide. Now, we're gonna coordinate the two arm actions because you notice I'm going single move, single move. Now, I'm gonna put my right hand up on my chest and as I do my circle, right when this hits peak, that's when this hand is gonna come out and press down, you see. Circle and it'll slide over the top of the hand and down, just like that, you see. Circle. Now you'll notice that my right hand starts to move right about here. So by the time I get to this point, my hand is over the top in you know pretty much clapping position whereupon it slides forward and down. So 
Watch the timing of this. Circle and my right hand's about to activate now. And then it goes down. So do that again. Circle. You'll activate when your hand, if you're doing this in, in the mirror, you'll notice that your hand ends up being pretty much adjacent to your neck. You're here and here comes my right hand and we're down just like that. Do that again, circle, and here comes that hand, bang, same thing. Put my left hand on my chest and we've got circle, here comes that left over the top and I press it down. Do that again, circle, and left hand came just a smidge late. We're here and it goes, bang. One more time. Good. Now, your third action, you've done circle, slide down. When this reaches the elbow, that goes forward in that fashion. Just like if you had a pie and you went mush, just like in the old Three Stooges uh, uh, movies and so forth. So you've got circle, press down, palm. If I have my hand here, we have circle and that comes over the top. And as that gets to the elbow, bang, hand goes forwards. So we've got circle, press down and palm. Good. Circle, press down and palm. Circle, press down and palm. We'll do it on the other side, same thing. Circle, here comes the left hand, gets down to about the elbow and the right hand extends. Circle. And I'm going over these, I'm assuming you're doing this with me. So uh, this is why I'm doing it about four or five times. And the nice thing about this being a YouTube video put up on Facebook is the fact that you can scroll back, see it again, scroll back, see it again. So circle up, down, and bang, just like that. All right, now let's get into body movement. And what I like to do is I like to have my feet pretty much straightforward like this as opposed to toes out. And the first thing is putting my hands just about where my front pockets are and move my pockets just like this, just rotating one side, other side. Rotate to the left. Notice my feet aren't moving. I'm not shifting my weight. All I'm doing is I'm just doing this little rotate, 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 etc. You see, just get this little turning back and forth. It's almost as though and of course, I'm going to show my age here, but it's like if you had your feet on the floor, but you're sitting on one of those stools back when they had in the Rexall drugs, you know, those are the ones that went all the way around like that. And you just sit there. Now you notice while I'm doing this, my shoulders and my waist are moving along with my pockets. What I'm not doing is I'm not twisting my waist as though I'm twisting a towel. From here to my shoulders, it's all like one, uh, one locked or one fused series of bones. So what happens is that I'm practicing moving my waist, moving my hips, moving my shoulders, all as one unit. So you go into doing that, and you can do that however many times just to kind of get the feel, same way as when you did the arm movements. Now. Let's put these together. So we've got the hand here. We're going to turn towards our right. The hand circles up and as it comes across this way, we're going to turn to the left. And then as this presses down and the hand comes forward, we turn back again. So what we end up getting is we end up getting a to the one side, to the other side, and then back to the first side again. So I'm here. 
and I turn my hips and my arm circles up, my body turns with my arm, I press this down and I turn this back this way. My hands flat, I turn towards my right side, it circles up. Now my arm starts going this way and my body rolls with it and then I slap down and you notice I'm turned to my left and I turn back either straight forward or I turn back to my right again. So turn right, circle, turn left, slide down, extend hand, turn right. Here, here, and here, just like this. Turning, second turn, third turn. You get this nice little smooth rocking action. Now let's go to the other side. Right hand is down, turn to the left. This circles up. Now we turn to the right. Here comes that old left hand and now I turn to the left again. So here we are, circle and press down and bang, just like that. Turn left, turn right, turn left. Now, the nice thing is once you get this coordinated, because it's going to feel a little bit funky, you know, geez, I got to remember this and I got to remember that, I got to remember that, but what if I'm over here and I turn the wrong direction, etc. This is common. Don't worry about it because one of the things that we're not used to in everyday living is coordinating the entire body to work as a team. You know, uh, a good idea, a good example would be how do you open the door? Well, you don't rotate this way and the arm goes like that and then you go here and then you rotate your body back. No, you just bank like that. Same thing with eating, you know. When you're eating with a fork, you're not rotating away and then dropping your weight and then stabbing the food and here comes past your mouth as you do a rotation and, 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 and. So we're used to doing all these things, what I call segmented or using individual motion and so forth. So this will feel a little bit cockeyed, but what you do is you put the component parts together. You have here, stop, here, stop, bang. And then you coordinate it so that what you've got is you've got three moves that interlink at each end. Then you add the body. And then the last thing on in adding the body is bend your knees. So you get that sitting feeling while you're doing this action. Do you follow that? Okay. Now I'm getting on to what I call the practical application part that I mentioned about in the beginning. And this is my wife, Marie of Marie's Custom Quilting. And she's going to demonstrate the application. Now, when you do this at home, you don't have to punch at somebody or whatever. I'm just going to stick my fist out and watch her as she does the circular motion, the press down and the forward palm. So I would just stick this here and See how that comes in and then boom, she takes the arm out of the way and she pops me in the beak nice and easily. Now watch this again, comes in just like this. Good. Now I'm going to stop her at one point because she's doing something I really want you to watch. If you happen to play this now, you see how that wrist is bent just like this. That makes it so that when she drops this arm, it sets this arm up for the take net and bang, there goes the nose. And it doesn't matter which arm you stick out. And I can do the right hand, she can do the left hand and doesn't matter. Now, the other thing that I really like what she's doing is you notice she's not being over eager and going, you know, bang, just like that. Just flowing through it. 
just exactly as I said in the beginning of the therapeutic martial arts concept is just, it's body motion, it's how to flow. So if I just stick my hand here, she just goes over there, pulls it down and bing. Or if I stick this hand here and so forth. So that's the end of this episode of Therapeutic Martial Arts. Have fun with it, move the body. Remember what I said about how we're coordinating all the different parts of the body and so forth. So enjoy, see you next time.